Welcome to Xara template tutorial lesson number 61. In this Xara tutorial, we're going to talk about a new feature in Xara Web Designer MX Premium version 8. And that feature is called Text Styles. And just like the name says, it's going to basically allow you to style or change the appearance of your text. And it's going to allow you to take that exact same appearance that you apply to one set of text and apply it to multiple sets of text in your document simultaneously so that you don't have to do that manually by hand over and over again and if you don't know what I mean don't worry I promise you that at the end of this tutorial you'll begin to see the value in it and you'll know exactly how to use this feature and we're also going to talk about how to update predefined styles in XR for the text styles and making them look you know based on how you want it to look so let's go ahead and get started uh, the first thing that you want to do is select the text tool in your toolbar and when you select the text tool you'll notice that in your info bar that it has the option normal text selected and if it doesn't have that selected it doesn't matter we're not going to actually even use that one but I'm just mentioning that one since it's, since it's the first one that shows up in my my info bar but it'll say normal text it'll say 13 pixels and it'll say Ariel for the font name and the font name may not be the exact same depending on what font names you have installed on your computer but under the style menu over here we're going to set that to heading one because that's the one that we want to start with and we're going to go ahead and draw our text area now and when you draw your text area let's give it the font I'm sorry let's give it the the title name this is an XR tutorial and once you do that uh, let's go ahead and draw another text area and we're gonna give it another name we're gonna say this is an XR tutorial paragraph 2 and in this case we're gonna actually highlight this text and we're gonna change the font name and it doesn't matter what you change it to just change it to something that looks relatively different okay and once you do that we're gonna also change the font size we'll make it maybe a 36 and we're going to make it uh, I won't make it italics because I can't apply that effect to this text but let's just change the color so let's go to the bottom left hand corner of our uh, screen and select the color editor and change the color and I'm gonna make it somewhat of a blue maybe I'll make it a darker blue and then I'm going to click in this text area and you'll see that it is indeed blue and it is a font size 36 pixels and it has this font name that we have set here so after you make those changes let's look at our info bar again you'll see that in heading one it has a plus option by it and what that means is hey you've made some changes to this text style called heading one and because of that that plus key is telling you that you need to update your styles so that every uh, every text style that has the name heading one will reflect those changes that we just made so if we click on this drop down menu and go to update style you'll see that the first title that we made now looks exactly how the second one looks so let's go ahead and draw one more text area so that I can demonstrate this a little bit further so let's give it the name this is an Xara tutorial paragraph three okay and this time we're gonna again highlight everything and we're gonna give it a different color maybe this time we make it like a red and let's just change the font name again and we'll we'll pick something else that's fancy that again you can notice the difference between the two so let me see what I'm gonna select here yeah I'll give it something like that and I'm gonna change the font size we'll maybe make it maybe like a a 48 we will make it something really well maybe not that big I'll make it smaller we will make it like a 16 font size and again you'll notice that in the style menu has the plus key indicating that hey you've made some changes to heading one you need to update the style so that it reflects on any text style that has the name heading one so click that drop down menu click on update style and you'll see that these two headings reflect the same changes that we've made to this one so in essence any changes that you make to heading one 
will reflect on any text that has the title heading one for the text styles. So that's the benefit of it. If we had to do this by hand manually and go and say, well, I want to make this one, you know, maybe a Arial font, and I want to give it a size 32 pixels, and I want to make it black. Okay, and then I want to do the same thing with this one. So I gotta highlight it again. I gotta go to Arial, and then I gotta set it to 32. You know, and then I gotta go ahead and make it black. You know, I'm, I think you can see quickly that you know that's a pain in the butt to have to manually change each one of those whereas if I just click on it and when I get that plus key indicating that I've made some changes to heading one I can just hit update style and it automatically makes those changes to any text that has that text style name which in this case would be heading one the same method would apply to paragraphs so let's say that we create a paragraph and I'm gonna delete some of these uh, headings that I've created I'm just gonna have two here and let's let's say that we want to add a paragraph so I'm gonna hit the enter key so that I can go to the next line and you'll see that it in the info in the info bar it sets it to normal text which is what you want to be under if you're not under normal text then make sure that you click this style menu and go select normal text and I'm gonna hit control shift L to make some fictitious text and if I highlight well you don't even have to highlight this whole thing if you click anywhere within this text for the for the paragraph you'll see that the style menu says normal text if we click to the end of it still says is this it still says normal text if you click to the beginning of the paragraph it still says normal text but if we click to the beginning of the header it'll say heading one or if we click to the end of heading one it'll still say heading one so make sure that when you click in a certain area of your text that it specifies the name of the text style that you want to change but in this case we want to change this text so I'm going to actually highlight it and I'm going to give it a different name and I'm going to call it you know whatever I, whatever I want to make it so I'm going to make it some different font and then I'm going to hit the update key when you go to normal text go to update style because normal text has the plus just like the heading one had it indicating that you need to update the style so click on update style and then those changes will be reflected and so from now on let's let's see what happens here if we go to the next paragraph if I hit the enter key and if I hit control shift L you'll see that indeed it changed the way that the paragraph style looks and if I highlight this and I gave it a normal font name like maybe Times New Roman and then I clicked anywhere within this text you know as long as it says normal text with the plus option there if I hit update style it will reflect those changes in the other parts of our document so that's how you use the text styles tool uh, I hope that made sense to you you know it, it, I know it's a little bit difficult to probably understand for some but hopefully this makes sense to you and if it does uh, you know definitely give us thumbs up and if it doesn't help you, send me a send me a message on YouTube, and I'll do my best to help assist you uh, with learning how to use textiles. And also, another thing I want to mention is just like you change the color uh, for the heading ones, you can do that for uh, the text uh, the text area for normal text. And you can you can really change anything about the text and reflect it in a textile manner. So don't limit yourself to just the things I've shown you here. You know, feel free to use the underline italics or you know even justifications of the text and it'll apply those changes to any text style that you've defined in your document so that's the end of this tutorial again uh, you know make sure to subscribe if this was helpful give thumbs up share our video um, embed it favorite it whatever you gotta do to give me feedback I would definitely appreciate it and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials have a great day no.